This video is long overdue Zanies. This is the official Zany tutorial on how to play ERLC on your mobile devices. This will be a step-by-step -step walkthrough featuring the menus, user interface, as well as some tips and tricks to find options that are not necessarily obvious. Subscribe, like this video, and make sure you share it with someone that plays exclusively on a mobile device. If you've been playing on mobile since the start of time, this video is probably not for you. Chances are you already know everything I'm about to cover. However, for those of you that are new to mobile or are perhaps transitioning your gaming from a desktop to mobile, you want to start paying close attention. Don't forget that I'm playing this on my 4th generation 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but I've also tested this on the very basic Amazon Fire tablet. Although I will not be using any of my peripherals, if you have access to a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. I strongly encourage you connect those before you start playing. Although they're not required to play, they do make accessing the menus and interacting with the game a whole of a lot easier. I will leave a recommendation for a wireless mouse down in the description below. Beginning with the very obvious circular translucent buttons as part of the user interface, the button with the little walking silhouette, if you press that while standing still, it does absolutely nothing. But if you press that as you're walking, that is actually your sprint button. Make sure you don't forget, a lot of people seem to miss that one. The button beneath that is your jump button. Moving over to the top left hand corner of the layout, the Roblox icon is nothing more than everything that allows you to reset your character, leave the game, resume the game, and even adjust some settings. I suggest you don't mess with these if you don't have to, but if you see your device lagging or dropping frames, you want to go in here and reduce some of the settings. More on that a little bit later in the tutorial. The little chat icon that is right next to the Roblox icon, that is what allows you to interact with other players in the game and actually start chatting away. We're also going to be covering this a little bit more when we join the teams a little bit further in the game. Over to the top right hand corner of the layout, the menu button. This is what allows you to switch in between teams. As you guys can see, the layout has also been changed for the mobile version. Very attractive, very intuitive, very easy to understand. Scrolling through that menu, this is what allows you to see other players in the server. It allows you to buy cash directly from in the game. And you can even connect to all the private servers that are out there in the ER LC world. Mine are not loading for whatever reason. Oh, there they go. So there you go. You can join the private servers directly from the mobile version as well. And more recently, they also added a tutorial section. If you ever want to go into great detail on what you can do when you're part of all these different teams, this is a great section to check out. Continuing along that upper right hand corner, those little three dots within that circle, that is what brings up the emotes in the inventory menus. Directly beneath that circle with those three little dots, you're going to see an arrow pointing to the left. If you click on that, that is what's going to tell you how many experience points you are away from achieving the next rank. Continuing down and starting from the left, that little map icon, that is what brings up the full blown map. And I'm very happy to see that the map is exactly the same as the one you'll find on the desktop version, meaning that you can see the toggles, you can see the street names, the landmarks, the buildings, the ATM, and everything else in between. My only gripe with the map is that there is no way to zoom in on it. If you press the little arrow icon, which I'm about to do so right Right now, once you zoom in, you cannot zoom out ever again. I don't know if that's a glitch, I don't know if I'm not finding a way to zoom out, or maybe it's just going over my head, but for some reason, it is going to be stuck like that forever. You see, I clicked out, I'm going to click back on. And you see, I am now completely zoomed in. There is absolutely no way to now change this view. So just keep that in mind. The little jumping silhouette right next to the map icon, that is what allows you to control your player and whether it's gonna take a normal stance, put his hands up, lay down, or even sit down. And now perhaps the most important one, when you are playing on mobile, the little gear icon with the wrench. If you are having a hard time rendering the game, if you are dropping frames, if you are seeing tearing, if you are experiencing any kind of significant lag this is where you want to go in and you want to start turning off some of these settings if not reducing them once again this is very important this in conjunction with the settings found here if you reduce these settings you should be able to play ERLC on mobile no matter what moving all the way down to the bottom center of the screen as you guys can see we still have a quick toggle bar unfortunately and unlike the desktop version once you enter a vehicle that quick toggle bar disappears therefore this also means that once once you're inside your vehicle, you cannot access the MDT. If you want to access the MDT on any of the teams, you 
have to exit your vehicle and then use the MDT before continuing. This is obviously going to cause a little bit of an issue if you are conducting some kind of traffic stop and you want to stay safe inside of your vehicle. You can no longer do that because now you have to exit your vehicle in order to run that data and figure out whether or not you're dealing with a criminal. Keep that in mind. Before I go into the tips and tricks portion of this video, I'm going to remind you guys that once you're inside the vehicle, your quick toggle bar at the bottom center completely disappears. So if you're going to be going out there and committing some of these crimes at a rapid rate, you want to make sure you remember what you have in your inventory and what you don't because you're not going to be able to see that as a glance. And even if you are within your vehicle, for those of you that are asking, well, Zany, can't I just access the inventory menu to see what I'm walking around with? And while the answer to that is unfortunately no, and I'll show you if you click on the little circle with the three little dots, as you see the inventory menu for whatever reason is completely gone. But if I exit the vehicle and now click on that same button, now the inventory menu is back. So I don't understand why they did that. I cannot remind you enough that once you are in your vehicle, there is no way for you to see what you are walking around with. Now into the tips and tricks. When it comes to robbing the ATM, if you have a mouse, this is where you want to use your mouse just because clicking on those colored numbers can be significantly easier. But even if you don't, just as a reminder, you don't want to be chasing the color. In other words, you don't want to be chasing that light till it stops on the specified code. What you want to do is you actually want to click right outside the grid, but within the box and just look for your number and it's going to yield the exact same results as if you were chasing the light. So there we go. Now I'm looking for 3AA. Looks like it's going to come back around. Ooh, and I missed it. So if you remember from the previous video, I did have a hard time with the ATM. There we go. B6E looks like it's going to be right on top. Ooh, and I missed it. Yeah, I can't seem to pinpoint the rhythm on the ATM when it comes to the mobile version, but I trust that you guys are going to figure it out. Moving on to the jewelry store, none of you guys should have a problem robbing the jewelry store. When I tell you that it's very easy to just sit here and tap away without any real rhythm, I promise you, it is really that simple. I almost wish there was a way for me to tap on the desktop version because it's a heck of a lot easier than sitting there and trying to click away with my mouse. And just in the course of me talking, I am quickly winding down here and I just got away with $1,300. So there you go. It's very easy to rob the jewelry store. Moving on over to trying to break into the homes, the same principles apply as a desktop. If the pins are moving incredibly fast right from the store, chances are you're just not going to get it. That is just the nature of the beast. However, if the pins are moving at a pretty normal rate, there's a very high probability that you're going to get away with it. And it looks like this one's going to be a good one for me. And it is. I am now in. And I am going to go in and steal all the money exactly like I would if I were playing on the desktop version. And last but not least, some tips on properly employing your weapon in ERLC. I can't tell you guys how much the recoil sucks if you're just going to stand here and start shooting. Look at that. Look at how bad that recoil is. Oh, that is horrendous. So instead, what you want to do is you want to hold the fire button and slowly do a dragging down motion. What you really want to do is you want to pretend that you're kind of holding that joystick on your Xbox or PlayStation and moving that joystick just a little bit down every single time you employ your weapon. That's the exact same thing you want to be doing here. Look at that. And although I am not staying on target just because the bursts are too long, it is keeping me a little bit more consistent than me just kind of laying on the trigger there. So that brings me to my next point. If you're going to be using a high capacity weapon such as the M249, maybe do bursts of something like 20 or 30 to help stay on target, then lay off the trigger and then come back and do another burst of 20 or 30, lay off the trigger and just keep on doing that. Believe me, doing those small little bursts is going to keep more rounds on target than just laying on the trigger like that and having your crosshairs go all over the place. One more thing when you have your weapon out, remember, even if you start running, that is not going to put your weapon away. If you want to put your weapon away, you have to click on the tile in your quick toggle bar in order to put that weapon away and then go about your business. There is no other way to put the weapon back in your inventory. All right, Zanies, well, there you have it. That was a very quick and a very straightforward tutorial on how 
how to play ERLC on your mobile devices. I'm very interested to know how many of you play on the desktop and how many of you play on mobile. So let me know in the comments below what your preference is because I got to tell you, for those of you that have played on the mobile version since the start of time, man, I have a newfound respect for you because even just staying straight on the road was hard enough for me. I can't imagine going out there, doing heist, being in the middle of a chase, or even trying to chase down criminals on the mobile version because it is just incredibly difficult. So mad props to everyone that plays on the mobile version. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The biggest favor that you can do me and your friends is share this video with someone you know plays exclusively on their mobile device. Until next time, long live the zanies.